After years of debate and a little bit of spilled blood, the Panama Canal finally belongs to Panama. The Senate has approved the Panama Canal Treaty by a narrow margin. We can talk about it now. Yeah, we could try to reason, but you might think it's treason. What makes America great? The United States can deal with smaller nations on the basis of equality and mutual respect. Tom Reston is a spokesman for the State Department. And I think that's going to have enormous implications uh, throughout Latin America and indeed throughout the third world. That's America, buddy! Panama Red! Panama Red! For years, Panamanians and others in Latin America and the Third World pointed to the Panama Canal as an example of American imperialism. Since the administration of President Johnson, negotiators have been trying to work out a plan to give the canal to the Panamanians. And us back the president all the way up there. I backed him yesterday into the swimming pool, and I nearly lost all of my senatorial privileges. And in the middle of negotiations, you break down. In the past, the canal treaty negotiations always broke down over how much control Panama wanted and how much the U.S. was willing to give up. All of us want to know, just as much as I want to know, Who's responsible? We can work it out. We can work it out. When President Carter took office, he assigned the Canal Treaty top priority, and its passage is a personal victory for him. The major stumbling block for the newly ratified treaty was the question of America's right to intervene militarily in Panama in case the canal was threatened by another power. And did you come to her defense in those dark days then, lad? Can the heads of state call out all of their reserves so they could postpone World War III? The United States will have the right to defend the security of the canal and to keep the canal open, but I would hasten to point out that this does not mean that uh, the United States has any authority to intervene in the internal affairs of Panama. It's those changes in latitudes, changes in attitudes, nothing remains quite the same. All of our running and all of our cunning, if we couldn't laugh, we would all go insane. Steve Crowley on the News Blimp. Woo! <laughs>